we're still at the airport. This is our first ride. It's a ride in the awesome monorail right there for you. I think this is enough for me. I don't, I don't think we need to go to the zero lane. Pretty cool. We get to take a ride around the airport. Waterproof pool. Still haven't touched ground on the uh, tarmac yet or on the uh, terra firma. That thing was awesome. I felt like I was in the movie Total Recall. You guys remember that scene where he's in like the uh, train car of the future? There's our first sign of Disney World. We're getting there. And look who it is. The one and only Mickey Mouse. I think we go in the Disney store later. Last time I was here, I remember I walked in this big area and they had like a uh, Disney store, a Universal store, a SeaWorld store. They had like, they had everything. So if you missed anything, they got it. Oh, check this out. That's awesome. Look at, they got an arcade over here. Oh, I want to go. And they got a candy store. All right, we got no time for that. Maybe, maybe on the way home we'll have time. That'd be fun. And of course, you got the beautiful Jenna with us. Hi, Jenna. Are you excited? She's guiding us through the airport. I've been here before, but I'm letting her do it all on her own. You'd be lost like three times by now. Wow. Wow. Really? Really? I'd be lost three times. Stop. I did this all before like three times. I'm an expert. Trust me. I mean, if you're going to trust the guy, at least trust the guy in a bright black flamingo shirt. Wouldn't right? that make sense? A guy with a flamingo shirt on should know Florida. Makes sense to me. Doesn't that make sense to you? A guy in a flamingo shirt would know everything. It's Florida. Where's your flamingos? Exactly. No flamingos. They got this all set. And uh, they told us because we have our Mickey bands. I like that name better. Mickey bands. That, oh, oh look, they got the sign here. That we can just go straight ahead. We're going to get right on the bus. It's going to be awesome. The great thing about Disney, they provide all the transportation. It's awesome. We get to watch a cartoon on the on the bus while we get there. <laughs> Captain Mickey. Here we go. First time. And nice. Jenna? Yep. And the germ. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it didn't work. It's the Mickey bands. Uh, and Sean. That's right. Okay. I don't care. I am still calling them Mickey bands. They're Mickey bands. They make more sense. Look, Mickey bands. They have Mickey Mouse on them. They're Mickey Bands. Mickey Bands. Look at her. <laughs> I officially become a little kid right now. Just so you know. Okay, what's, what's that thing on your wrist though? It's a, it's a Mickey Band. It makes more sense. Who's on it? He's everywhere though. He's Mickey. It's a Mickey Band. Look, Mickey Mouse is on it. It's a Mickey Band. It's magical. Mickey. I gotta say, Disney really has it down. We didn't even go get our luggage. We put a tag on it at the airport when we first left. And we just uh, are basically getting on the bus. They're gonna they're gonna bring everything right to our room. We're gonna bring our packages. All we have is our carry-ons, and we're gonna get on the bus. The gentleman there is taking our suitcases, put them on the bus underneath, and our uh, main luggage is gonna gonna arrive there before we get there. Probably, or shortly after, one of the two. But we didn't have to wait for it, so that's awesome. And the Magical Express is a cool ride. Look at this, we get to watch cartoons the whole entire ride there. How sick is that? Look at that, a little old school goofy for you guys. And finally, all star movies! Woo! Woo! Approximately travel time is gonna be four days. Yay! <laughs> I told you he was new. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut it down to about 45 minutes. And since you're officially on vacation, anything we can do to make this ride comfortable? That includes adjusting the temperature or the sound, just let us know. A couple of quick notes to the rear of the coach is a restroom. All of us at Disney's Magical Express hope you have a magical stay and build memories that will last a lifetime. We leave you with words of welcome from our original Disney cast member, Walt Disney himself. Well, guys, we made it here at the All Store Resort movies. There's our bus in the background there. And we're here. We have arrived. We're getting off the Magical Express. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate the ride. We got to get our uh, luggage off the back of the Magical Express and uh, hopefully in a little bit or you never know, it might even be there. Our bags from the plane. We just got one. There's Bella's bag right there. We got it. What do you guys say? We go to the resort and check in. Thank you. 
a pretty cool resort. They got a uh, little cartoon viewing area there for the kids so they can actually sit there and uh, watch movies while they wait. All right, we have encountered our first cast member, Will. Hi, everybody. And Will, where are you from? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas. Does anyone know what president is from Little Rock, Arkansas? Give you guys a second. It's Bill Clinton. I've actually been to the Bill Clinton Library. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. Thank you, Will. Will's been very helpful. Awesome to be here, and we're happy and excited. Let's go. So Will was pretty awesome checking us in. It was cool to see you. He was from Little Rock, Arkansas, because I've actually been there when I went to the Bill Clinton Library uh, back a couple years ago when he built the uh, Presidential Library. And as you guys know, I'm from Hyde Park, New York, which is FDR's home. And uh, Bill Clinton actually came to Hyde Park quite a few times just to see the Presidential Library. Did a couple little speeches. Met with, uh, I think it was Boris Yeltsin, and uh, it was actually pretty cool. It was really cool. Um, presidential Library, and it was cool seeing Bill Clinton in person a couple times. So. We're walking through the Value Resort here. Got a beautiful pool, and we're staying in a brand new renovated room, they said, that was just renovated to look like Toy Story. And they told me and Jenna that we can actually use our magic bands just to get into the room, so that's going to be pretty cool. We're, we're getting towards the Toy Story stuff. Look at the big bucket of soldiers right there. It's actually bucket O soldiers. And right over here we got Cool Racer. I don't remember his name. Do you guys remember his name? Is it like RC or something like that? Pretty cool. The theming here is awesome. Look, it's so cool. What's it say? Andy's room. Andy's room. Let's check it out. Look at this. Oh it's God. like we're walking. It's like we're miniature sized. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, Leo Woody. That thing is awesome. Look how big he is. He's bright too. And they got T-Rex back there. All the soldiers. And that is one giant Buzz Lightyear right there. Wow, that, that Woody is big. All right, I just realized what it just said. I'm talking about this uh, character right here, not the other thing. Going up to our uh, hotel room now, or motel room. We're in the elevator, and whatever that is, that looks really good. That was super quick. Going this way. It's like a maze. I have no idea where we are. I guess we're all gonna be together the whole time, so it doesn't really matter. And of course, there's Woody again. There's Buzz Lightyear. We've arrived at the room. We're gonna try the Magic bands slash Mickey bands for the first time. Mickey bands. All right, Jenna's gonna give it a shot and let's see if it works. I just heard a click. Yeah, it sounds there like it goes. Happened. You keep oh, you, she keeps doing it and then locking it. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right. Just gotta get used to it. Air conditioner's on. Rooms look pretty good. They were just recently renovated. And uh, I think this is the wrong room because there only seems to be one bed. Yeah, this isn't the room we're, we're gonna have to uh, find out what's going on here, unless there's a bed hiding in here. Now I saw a video from Tim Trekker a while back, and uh, he wasn't sure if the pillows were supposed to be like that or not. But it looks like they certainly are when he stayed at the value resort, and they're here for that too. We got in the room, and right away we were like, "Ah, uh, there's supposed to be another bed." And uh, I looked, and then all of a sudden I saw it. Of course, there's the one bed right here, and then there's uh, two chairs here. And there is uh, a, we could show them. And there's this big wool cabinet. And what you do is you obviously move the chairs. So let's move those out of the way. You're gonna pull on those uh, handles right there. You, the table folds down. What? And uh, that's Bella's bed. Pull. Pull it out, pull it right out. Pull. No, no, you have to grab. That's it, see that? Look at that. That is pretty cool. And look at who's behind it. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I love the ducktails. See? Cool. The room is pretty cool. Nice bathroom, just renovated recently. It's always a trick to find the lights. Is this the lights? Is this gonna be that easy? Oh, it is that easy. Never, never does that happen that easy. All right, and there's uh, some shelving there. There's, you know, all the normal stuff you guys expect. The shower looks like it's brand new. Look at these. Look at, they have uh, soap dispensers in here for you. And they got body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, that's that's kind of neat. We just came back out. I couldn't remember the other character's name in it over here. Do you remember Jenna? What's her name? Do you remember her name? What, what's her name? Little what's Bo her Peep. name? Little Bo Peep. Did you say it because I said it before? No. You remembered? Yeah. 
She's making things up now. She's making things up. <laughs> Woo. It is hot out there. So this is our uh, little cafe. Is where we're gonna eat probably in the morning time. I know they got a lot of treats here. There's not a lot of people here now because everybody's at the parks. But uh, we we'll go take a little tour. Looks like there's a few places to eat. We got the Majestic. And the Majestic looks like it's mostly Italian food. So we got that one there. We got the Lyric, which has some uh, sandwiches, roast beef sandwiches. We got the Grand over here. The Grand looks like that's where all the drinks are. We got some drinks, salads, things like that. So of course you get your, your Mickey Mouse milk. We got Mickey milk. Some little salads, crustables. Am I the only one that loves these things? These things are awesome. Little uh, lunch bags, $5.99. Not sure what's in those. And I've heard that they have lots of gluten-free options here as well. You just have to ask. So uh, I did hear they have a gluten-free menu for all the people that are gluten-free like my daughter. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff here. A lot of little pastries and things like that. And I know they're good. This one here is the Roxy. And the Roxy looks like mostly hamburger and french fries. There's one more over here. And this one has cupcakes. Oh, these look good. We're not gonna be getting any of these yet because we didn't even eat lunch yet. Look at all those cupcakes, that looks awesome. What's this over here? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Here's one of my favorite treats. The last time I was down here at Disney World are these Rice Krispie treats with the chocolate on them. Oh my God, these are so delicious. Last time I was down here was a couple years ago and we had like a uh, food pass. I forget what exactly they call it, but we were able to get two or three snacks a day each and a lot of them we didn't even use because there's too many. Here's the menu of all the things they offer and the, the thing I couldn't think of was this right here, the Disney dining plan. They have the quick service menu which gives you two snacks per day and also two meals per day. Very good value. Wow, look what else they have here. I didn't expect this. They have actually a wine rack. You can actually buy a bottle of wine, take it back to the room. And uh, I've seen these on Shark Tank. I've never seen them in person. Copa, it's like a little glass of wine. That's, that's pretty cool. I've never seen them in person, but uh, there they are. Those little Copas we were talking about, eight bucks for one glass of wine. They got some other alcoholic beverages too. They got uh, Malibu and pineapple. And then of course they have all the beers and things like that. You get a few of these. These are kind of expensive. $20.42, but unlimited refills while you're here at the park. Well, not in the park, at the resort. So she's activating our cup now. I guess there's some kind of chip in there. I only got two of them because $20.42 is, uh, is a lot. So I got one of these Disney reward cards. I uh, got this by doing the uh, Disney card, the one that you see advertised all the time, and uh, used it for about three years to earn money on this trip. And we got about $800 to spend, which is pretty awesome. So even though those cups came to about 50 bucks, including one small meal, we ended up kind of sort of getting them for free. So not too terrible. We're going over the fountain machines now. They got a whole bunch of options here. They got, here's your options right here. They got, uh, Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, and uh, ketchup. No, I'm kidding. Those aren't the options. So what we're going to do is put this uh, magical cup on the dispenser. You can see right here, if you just push it, it doesn't work. You're going to put the cup on the tray, and then it recognizes that the cup is there, and you have a chip, and then it's active, and it should work. And there it goes. Now, the cool thing about this is we can do this unlimited time. So 1 o'clock in the morning, I decide I want a Coke, and we'll get a Coke or hot chocolate. All right, that was nice to get here and get a little snack. They got those penny machines over here. I love those. So we're gonna have to get one of those before we leave. And look, they do characters over here. Bella and I did this one year, and the lady was awesome. Look at this, we were up at the front, and this weird looking RV thing pulled up. Oh, he's going that way. He's going that way. We're gonna try to catch him. I'm a little embarrassed. I thought it was Goofy. It's actually, it's Pluto. Hi, Pluto. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my bad. Now, isn't Goofy your owner? Goofy's your owner, right? I know, I know, but doesn't Goofy own you? Isn't it? I don't understand how another dog owns a dog. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, it says, oh, geez, you're lost? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we better let you go. Well, there's somebody over there that could probably help you. 
All right, good luck. See you, pal. You know, I always thought Goofy owned Pluto. I thought, I thought Goofy was Pluto's dog. Or am I saying that right? Yeah, but how's a dog own a dog? I don't know. Or how does a mouse, in fact, have its own dog? That's kind of weird too. Jenna sent me over to this uh, brochure rack to see what was going on, see what all these are about. I like this one here. You get this uh, van here, and uh, it's a van that will take you anywhere you want, any Disney park, and they call it, appropriately enough, a minivan. You really can't make this stuff up. Same gentleman's helping us again, Will, and uh, we're trying to find out where our luggage is because I made, we made one mistake. We're going out to dinner in a little bit, and one of the things we did, or that we didn't do, is we forgot to unpack the clothes that we were wearing to go out to uh, find dinner. So we're going to find out if they can find the status of that and go from there. Next, we're going to go in the double feature. Take a look around here, see what they got, see if they got any good stuff. They got all the autograph books. See everybody, they got the uh, coffee mugs, of course. How much is a coffee mug? What do you guys think? $15.99. Oh my god. You want to be in my vlog? Yeah. Alright. They got this really sweet 2018 towel for Disney. There you go. She's in the vlog now. <laughs> I just found some more Minnie Mouse ears. Have you found the ears that you're looking for? That's the question. Have you found those ears? Yeah. Are they, those are them? Let me see. Oh, you got to put them on for everybody. We got to see what they look like. There, da -da. What do you guys think? Do you like them? They can, you gotta, you gotta let them see. What do you guys think? You guys like them? Yeah, I like them. Are you gonna go with them? Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to come back. I specifically wanted rose gold. Rose gold. Yeah, those are the ones you were looking for. Those are the exact. All right, I know you guys want to see me with Minnie Mouse ears on too, or Mickey Mouse ears. So Jenna, pick out any pair of ears to put on me, and I will put them on. I'm not gonna buy them. I know you guys are gonna pick out something ridiculous. All right, here we go. Jenna's picked out the first pair. Oh my god, I look like a rabbit. <laughs> you got my hat on. You look good in my hat. And why is it covering my ear? <laughs> I couldn't see that side of your head. All right, there, there's the first one. That's the one. Oh, it's got a, it's got a birthday candle on it. Oh, my birthday just passed. That's so perfect. All right, Bella has also picked out a pair. Oh my god, what'd she pick out? I know my daughter. Yep, that's what I that's what I thought. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you think that's funny? You think we should pick out ears for you too, maybe? The gentleman works here right here. He's got the classic Mickey ears. Those are those are the cool ones. I didn't see those in there. Where are, where are they? Look, they got a snack section, and look what's in the snack section. Look, more rice krispie treats with chocolate. Bella is feeling awful silly today. She's giving me another hat to try and being a good sport. I'm gonna do it. All right What do you guys think? She's making me I can't get this thing. She's making me try all these things on Should I get this pair? You like them? <laughs> you gotta be a good sport. It's all for fun, right? These are the pair that I would get. I don't need any of these, but I'm not gonna get any. But that, that, I like that one, or uh, this old school one, that's pretty awesome. I like that one. That's the one the guy at the front is wearing. Actually, you know what? He's not wearing that one. He's wearing this one with the sorcerer hat on the top. All done in the gift shop. Pretty cool, Like a, it's like a super Disney store. We're gonna check out the arcade, because they got an arcade here too. Here's the arcade, it's called Real Fun Arcade. I love arcades. Got some good games in here. We got Galaga. I love that game. Ninja. We're just gonna have ski ball. Can't have an arcade without ski ball. Some ski machines. They got some good stuff. We got a whole bunch of games over here on the other side too. Look at this. Star Wars. Is that like the old Star Wars? Car Hero. Last time I was here, they had Wreck and Ralph in here. I guess that's uh, that's all going. Or was it Wreck and Ralph? It was uh, Fix It Felix Jr. So no more. They actually have four pinball machines: Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean, Avatar, and Tron. 
course, old Disney movies, but still very cool. Afterburner arcade game. This game is awesome. I have the original Afterburner arcade game. It was my favorite game as a kid. I don't have that one. The Climax one is awesome. And it uh, looks like a, a pretty nice little arcade. So I have to come back here and check this out. It's one of those arcades where you need like a uh, one of those slide card things. So we'll come back here and play some games. Big Fantasia theme at that hotel right there. And there is the pool for this resort. There's also a bar around here. There's a bar, a silver screen bar. And then on the other side, right over here, I don't know, you guys don't care about laundry, right? I did my laundry here once last time I was here. Went home with all clean clothes, but the laundry mat is right next to the pool. So you can actually do your laundry while you stay here and go home with all clean clothes if that's what you want to do. I did it. Well, everybody, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the Disney All-Star Movies Resort. Thanks for hanging out with me, The Germ. And uh, if you guys want to, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Uh, I have stayed here before. It is an awesome little resort. It's not very expensive. It's not busy today either. Right, right at this point, it's pretty quiet. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I love it that you guys watch the videos. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I am the germ.